And so, it happened in Eretz Yisrael that there is a monit that is traveling from Yerushalayim to Tveria. And there's a girl that gets on, older teen, 19 years old, gets on, and she sits in the back. There's a room for 10 passengers. There's a rav that gets on. He sits in the very front, and he puts on earphones. He's listening to the shir during the trip. The first stop, some other people get on, friends of the drivers. Unfortunately not Shomreton and Mitzvahs. They begin saying all kinds of things, Shtus and Ravolim. And this girl, the girl that was sitting in the back, she tries to be very careful about what she hears. It's a Nisayan for her. And she was being very careful. However, one turned on the radio. And when they turned on the radio, and the worst decadent music began to play, she couldn't take it. She grappled with it in her own life. She already made a gather that she wouldn't listen to this kind, not the worst, certainly not that. And she was very careful with it. And this was presenting to her a challenge of a lifetime. She was meek, a little bit timid, but she was miscavra. She went against the Teva. She did what the Rambam said. And she said to the Nahab, in a very, very respectful tone, please, Nahagadoni, if you don't mind, could you please turn the radio off? Sema Friam. It, it bothers me, it hurts me. The Nahag turned around for a second, ignored it, and continued. Someone asked, they wanted the music a little bit higher. You know, you go to the chasna and you're standing there, you can't hear you, so, oh, make it higher, right? Turn the volume up. It's dangerous. Turn the volume up. She couldn't take it. She addressed him one more time, please, I'm asking you to turn the radio off. He said to her, I'm very sorry. There are other passengers that Dafka want the radio. This is not only a private little car for you, but this is to service the Rabbin. She said, fine. Then please let me get off in the next stop as soon as you can. The driver turned around, and he says, okay, but you're not getting a penny back from your fare. She said, I didn't ask for it. I just would like to get out. You cannot force me to listen. He said, Gvura. So, they come to a little stop in the middle of nowhere. He stops the car. She gets out. The rob in the front sees her getting out in the middle of nowhere. What, what are you going? What's going on? And she begins to tell him what happened. He begs the driver. The driver begins to tell him a few words. They lost. She left. She stood there. And just for a minute when the car drove away, the people in the car, they looked back to see one girl standing by herself in the middle of the road. Ezek Kiddush Hashem. Ezek Kiddush Hashem. Okay. The Rav went to be Menachem of Allah, Lenu HaKabes Yisrael, in Tveria. After his Menachem of a little bit later on, he's walking to go back to get the car to Yerushalayim. And he sees the girl. He walks over to her and he says, was everything okay? Did you get another car? She said, yeah, yeah, yeah. Minutes afterwards, there was another car that came and I sat in the car. Then all of a sudden, there was an elderly lady that came in the next stop, over 80 years old. And this lady introduces herself and says, what's your name? I told her my name's Rochel. She told me her name, Taiva. And we began to speak. Where's Taiva going? Taiva's going to the kever of the Heli Gitana Remeir Balanes. And she says, and Rochel, where are you going? Rochel says, I'm a Kala. I come from a very poor family. 
we have no money, I'm going to get a used dress from a gemach. And that's why I'm traveling from my wedding gown. Tyler said, you know, the reason I'm going right now is because it's the art site. Pesach Sheni, Avramer Balanes. My father, Zichon Levrocha, was one of the poorest people in Yerushalayim. We had no food to eat when I was little. No food to eat. One day, some of the people said, go and be misfollowed by the kever of Remeir Balanes. My father went and he stayed the whole day and he cried for all the tzoros that he had in his personal life. Somehow when he came back, from that day on, the financial picture began to improve until the point that we became one of the wealthiest families in Yerushalayim. When my father was nifter, he put two things into the tzavo. The first thing was, on the yard site, I should always go to the kever and be mispalo. The second thing is, that I should find a cow, a poor cow, in need of Achnos's cow, and I should provide for her all the needs of the chasana, the derech kavod. Rochale, you have saved me the trouble of finding the kala. You don't need any gemachim. I will pay for all of the needs that you have for the wedding in the entire year of the Shana Rishana. That was it. A Misa that begins with Kiddush Hashem ends with Kiddush Hashem. Rabbi Cheska Levinson said, Kadesh has Shimcha, I'm like Dishesh The ones that have the greatest ability to be Mekadesh Shem Shemayim are B'nai Torah. Chazak Vemaz.